Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. This just in, the 6.6 .6 earthquake fell in the islands region, New Caledonia. That's right, seven minutes ago I was making my video about to upload, and then the 6.6 .6 popped off, sending tsunami warnings to Alaska, BC, US, West Coast. 6.6 .6 earthquake, folks, still at a default 10 kilometers depth thanks for joining me today welcome to another surviving day on this planet welcome to another video from myself doing my daily research you know watching whoa yeah exactly what was that so yeah, I was doing my daily research, checking out a solar tornado there on the left side. I was checking out the sunspot, growing sunspot region. And then this black ball appears in front of the camera. Not only once, but twice. And the second time going in the opposite direction. Like what was that? And it was a perfect circle. Look at that. Can anybody tell me what that was? I've seen some funny stuff on this imagery of the sun, but I've never seen this. So yeah, just let me know in the comment section if you know what this is, tell me, because I have no clue. I think it was the moon, but why did it come in the opposite direction like moments later, maybe hours later. Moments later in the video, but probably hours later in time. Weird. But thank you for joining me today. We're definitely gonna be looking at the space weather because that growing sunspot region could be, could snap. It, it, it really, really could. We've got uh, solar wind speed that has calmed right down. It dropped to uh, almost 250 kilometers per second. So things are calming down, but we're expecting another stream here in the next 24 to 48 hours. So watch that speed ramp up. Just looking at Lasco 1 and 2 images. This is one under different colors. You can see lots of energy on the left side. And then over at Lasco 2 imagery, lots of cosmic particles and stars in the background. Thank you, NASA, and thank you, NASA, for this as well. This is a seven-day composite image of North America watching Hurricane Florence spinning through the Atlantic Ocean. <clears throat> Projected path is still Carolina states north and south. And there's also a tropical depression. You see they're forming just south of Florida. So we could have a tropical depression in the Gulf of Mexico within the next few days. But definitely by Thursday morning, if not late Wednesday night, Carolina states will be dealing with Hurricane Florence as a category four or five, most likely a five. Very busy and turbulent and warm Atlantic Ocean right now. We are just waiting for those jet streams to shift and bam, we are right into the Atlantic hurricane season. We were in it, but we didn't have any hurricanes. It was non-existent. We're going to look at the tropical storm imagery here. We've got Hurricane Florence downgraded overnight in the darkness and is now strengthening as a very defined eyewall projected to turn into a category four in the next six hours and then head northwest we're also looking at typhoon Mankut, who ran through the guam area last night as a category one but once it leaves the islands it is projected to be a category four looking at Hurricane Helene and Isaac 
So Helene on the right and Isaac just there on the left hand side. Isaac is heading towards the Caribbean. Helene is heading northwest into the Atlantic Ocean. And then we've got little Olivia here who is fizzling out. It will be a tropical storm within 12 hours. Looking over here at Meteor Earth five day forecast, you can see here the lines projected forecasts for each of these storms in the Atlantic Ocean. Florence, Helene, and Isaac. We are at I now, folks. J K L M. Hurricane Michael might be the storm of the century. Most likely will be like a superstorm Sandy. In like a lamb, out like a lion. The Atlantic hurricane season is here and get ready along the eastern seaboard of the United States because things are about to get hectic. Helene heading straight north, but watch for it to grow and most likely churn in the Atlantic Ocean for days. Helene will, will be a long lasting storm. Overlooking the Northern Hemisphere, lots of cold air being funneled down into Russia right now. Wow. Early winter settling in in the North Pole in Russia. Or sorry, Northern Hemisphere in Russia. And also parts of Europe, some cold air moving in. Looking over here, we do have another tropical storm that is formed in front of Mangkut, heading towards Thailand, Myanmar, Taiwan. Crazy weather times we're living in, folks. I want to thank you for joining me and subscribing to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Where now for 18 months I've been posting my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Showing you five day forecast maps, NASA imagery, keeping you aware and prepared. Still large, very large low spinning off the coast of South America. Watch for an uptick in seismicity. Parts of South America, Argentina and also Bellany Islands region. Very dry in Australia and quite cool at nights. I don't know anybody if anybody's watching from Australia, but please let me know what your nights are like because I know my nights here in Alberta are quite, quite chilly. We're going to go over the last 24 hours for earthquakes. We did have that large 6.9 earthquake last night and that happened on my live stream i don't know if anybody else was watching here but uh, i had quite a few people in there on the live stream and the 6.9 earthquake struck while on live stream that's a first time for me looking around the world we had some four four point oh's going off straight east to west from burma to iran and turkey Also 5.1 in Chile yesterday. That was also on the live stream. 4.9 on the in Mexico. But pretty quiet here in North America today. Not one earthquake. But we're just gonna go the last seven days. And it, I mean we, we did have a pretty busy week for earthquakes in North America. So this little quiet spell is kinda making me wonder what's next. This is the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world, folks. Again, I want to thank anybody who joined me in the live stream last night. I had great fun. We had lots of
good chats and friends and family in there hanging out. And yeah, please join me for any other live stream when you see me on there. Come on in there and say hi to Mike from Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.